Well, welcome back folks. Just a quick update today. Down the plot. Right, I've, brought, I've got one tray of onions left at home. I brought these all down, look. They're all doing well. Potato fertiliser there. The shallot to at the back. And more onions all the way along here. So, a few there to go in. This tree full here, as you can see, I haven't tied it up yet. But they won't take long to tidy up before I plant them out, which hopefully will be next week. Oh, and there's my potatoes, which I've got in there. Eight pots with one in. These are Aaron Pilot. And then they have the 30 litre pot with four in. So we should, uh, if I get 20 pounds of spuds there, I'll be as happy as Larry. Now I've been down, this is where I want to be pulling the onions. I've took the black polythene off, as you can see. Just ran me three, three finger prong through it. And then a light dusting of calcified seaweed and bloodfish and bone. And that's where I want to put the onions this year. I will be starting this end from left to right. They'll be eight inches apart. I know some people do them at six, but I like to do them at eight just so I can get the hoe or me prong down to just do a bit of weeding sort of thing. Right, there's me garlic. It's not doing too bad looking good, some of them are really looking good, no signs of early rust yet, one never knows I might go away with it this year but I doubt it, what well, I did clean down the other day, a little bit of a weed wasn't much, just put my prong down and just giving them some uh, garlic fertiliser just to help them on the way, so let's hope they all take and do. I could have put another row in there, but I'd run out. But uh, they're not looking bad. Right, in the cage you've seen in here, that's the first raised bed, all full. Top coat of manure on the top there. In there, I will be putting in my pink fur apple potatoes. So I'll just see how they go. And on the next one, I might even try my sweet potato in here. So I will need to fertilise that. This one, I haven't got a clue yet what I'm going to put in. So, probably may even put a couple of courgettes in there. And this one, not got a clue. So, <laughs> I never have a plan on what I'm going to plant where, because it never, ever works. So that's it. This one is probably where I put my cores yet. Just put two in there. There's the leeks, which I was tempted to throw out. There's one or two on them, look. Especially that one there. That's looking quite healthy. Not very big, but big enough if I was onto a stir fry. Whoops, got a bit of a wobble on, sorry. So, this one, no idea. Might even put some more potatoes in that, if there's any pink fur apple left. So that's doing all right. So there's my carrot bed. I put those two bits of heavy perspex over, hopefully just to warm the soil up a bit. Ready? Won't warm it up much, but it'll give me a, give it a head start. 
this one not again drop mind you even put red cabbage in here because we only need about six and six in there will do perfect that's what's a so on so there's my cauliflowers which I don't know I can't comment on them really to be honest because just see how they go some more leeks need to weed that one or two in there but I think these will be probably I don't think these will see the summer out so I think I'll need the space and then here parsnip bed which will be planted soon so if I get 20, 20 about 20 in there I'll be happy so only the two of us, we only need two a meal. So this is the end bed, which I've now fully weeded, leveled off. This is where I put the beetroot, any sweet pot, um, parsnips, turnips, uh, all me that sort of stuff. Put, uh, some more um, chip bark chippings down there so it's looking tidy and the same on there bark, more bark chippings so basically just on this side I've just got where the beans are going to go and that, that won't take much just to tidy up put some manure down and fertiliser bit which I every year I say I'm going to put some flowers I never do but I've got, I'll try and get some marigolds in so well I think that's about it this one is for where I'll put the big onions and probably the shallots I'll take this cover off next week so anyway guys I think that's about it now, I've still not got that 500, so please hit the subscribe button, help me on my way. If you've liked it, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. I do enjoy reading the comments. I try and answer them all. So, right then, folks, thank you very kindly, and I'll see you all on the next one, which I would imagine will be in the uh, attic. All right, and cheers now. Bye.